Hello guys, good morning to all of you. This is Balongs TV, Engineer Paul Vincent V. Setias. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. Huh? So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to, to be updated to all my uploaded videos. Huh? Alright, so guys, be an accredited materials engineer. Huh? Uh, so all the aspiring materials engineer out there, huh? Uh, be an accredited materials engineer uh, under uh, DPWH. So. Okay, so what are the requirements of uh, for accreditation of contractors, consultant, materials engineer? Uh? So, guys, babasahin ko, no? Uh, minimum requirement. As a minimum requirement for accreditation of materials engineers, the applicant must be a registered and licensed civil engineer. This minimum requirement may be extended to foreign applicants. So, so kailangan licensed engineer, no? Ang first uh, minimum requirement, no? To become an accredited materials engineer, no? Second, there are uh, two uh, examination categories. First, the written examination and the practical examination. For the written examination, a written examination shall be administered to all the applicants. The raw score obtained in the examination shall be converted to percentage, 100% maximum to obtain the total score for accreditation. Okay, so 100%, so 100 multiple choice items. So, uh, in obtaining the materials engineer one, you have to obtain a 60% uh, and above uh, score, no? to obtain the materials engineer one huh? so for practical examination practical examination shall be administered to an accredited materials engineer one applying for upgrading to materials engineer two it shall be conducted at the bureau of research in standards brs office in quezon city or at selected identified dpwh regional offices all right so guys uh uh when you are a materials engineer one you have uh you need to upgrade no? uh, if you want you, you, you need to upgrade to materials engineer too so by uh, way of uh, uh, practical examination no? administered by the materials engineer one no? so you have to pass the practical examination in accordance with the minimum requirements of the uh, B uh, bureau research standard under the dpwh no? so guys so this is my uh, part one of my uh, vlog for uh, engineering series. So guys, subaybayan niyo ako para updated kayo sa mga uploaded videos ko. So, guys, always remember this, it's better to try than not trying at all, no? So, sa lahat ng mga civil engineers out there, be an accredited DPWS materials engineer. So, guys, uh, hanggang dito na lang. So, so maybe sa susunod na vlog ko, i-discuss ko ang uh, detailed, no? Uh, step by step on uh, criteria and procedures for how on uh, how to accredit or in a DPWH so, as mga contractors, consultant, materials engineer. So guys, good day and God bless.